Do you use Audacity for your production or do you use something else? I use Audacity. And do you ever use labels? No. No. So that's the that's the step that will produce the magic for these text files. If you share your screen, we can go through the process of adding labels to your Audacity project. So I, I, open, I open up Audacity. So uh, that's my next show, just the music. Lovely. For this exercise, we just need to add a few labels and go through the export process, I suppose. You basically just stick the cursor at the start of the track. Make it a bit bigger. So let's go with this track here. Yep. If you stick the cursor in the actual track area, yeah. It doesn't matter whether it's a couple of seconds out, does it? No, it absolutely doesn't matter. And then you, the magic button is Control B. I'm on a Mac rather than a PC. All right. So I wonder what it is. Command. So Command B. In the edit menu, there's labels. Add label at selection. In the edit menu, is it? I've got labels, yes, add label at selection. And I've got a label track. Now it has a cursor so you can type. And the convention we're using is artist hyphen track title. So you just type in the artist hyphen track title and hit enter. Artist hyphen title. Yeah. Yeah, so artist hyphen title, and that's it. And then you hit enter. And so if you've made a mistake, I think on a, on Windows, you use right click. I'm not sure what you do on a Mac. So you click on that thing and... I've got cut, copy, paste, delete, edit. Edit. So you can edit it if you've made a mistake. So that, that's the process for each track. Oh, yeah. So I can, I, can, I, can just, I can just slide it along after putting the voice on. So... Is that it? Yeah, that's it for every track. You may have to pull the bottom of the label track down just to make it easier to read them all. Okay. Let, let's do a few more. That is just so easy, though, Jerry. When you're listening to your show, it's lovely to see what the track is. Yeah, yeah. So we have another step. Let's do half a dozen tracks, if you don't mind, and then we've got something to play with. Okay, right. So uh, if you save your project, then under File, Export, yep. Export Labels. Oh, Export Labels. Um, so it's going to do it as a text file. De the default is just label space track dot text. So that's fine because what we're going to do is we're going to open that file and just copy it into a web page I've made for the process. Wherever you want to save that so you can find it easily. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick it on the desktop. The file itself, we're not going to actually use. It's a sort of a transitionary thing that we can put on the clipboard and paste into the web page. Okay, yeah, I'm with that. Uh, so it doesn't matter what it's called. It doesn't matter what it's called, as long as you can find it again and open it up in an editor. Okay. So I saved it to the desktop. Right, so you can uh, go to the desktop and open it up. Right, so that, that's what Audacity gives you, and it's just like two columns in, expressed in seconds and the stuff you've put in. So it's, it's very straightforward. And so you, you select everything and copy it onto the, the clipboard. Yeah. Why is it two columns and numbers the same? Because you could potentially do the start and end of a track. All oh, right, okay. But we don't need to do that. We're only interested in when it begins. Right, so uh, I've, co I've copied that. All the yep. tools that I've been making uh, for Indie Live Radio are on a, on a special little place called tvl.ink. That's the website. Uh, and then forward slash charts. So the one I've just added today is Audacity oh, Labels. Audacity Labels, yep. Click on that, 
And then this is the procedure. I've sort of the, you have to fill in the form with your show name. Yep. Music and musings. That's me. And the name of the file track would be CP94. And then you have to put .mp3. Oh, right. All right. And then if you click the button at the bottom, it may well generate what we want it to. Generate cue sheet and track listing. Oh, right. Oh, how clever is that? You can see the text file is very straightforward, but it would take you yes. forever trying to do that by hand. And That's so, that is so neat. I mean, and now do I have to save that? At the minute, there's no saving, so it's just presented you on the screen with the cue sheet text. So you could copy by selecting that on the screen, do you know, from, from title down to the end of track six information. Yeah. So copy that. Copy yeah. that. And then paste it into a file on your computer. So I've now, post, I've now pasted the uh, queue information into that. Lovely. So you can see Nirvana has come in at 75 minutes. Yeah. Which is fine. Uh, five seconds. It all looks fine. Uh, so you, you have to use save as to save this as the right name. Right. It's, it's, it's duplicate on the Mac. And save. So an extension you need to use is .cue, and it has to match. So it has to be Steve space B space 94 .cue. .cue. So Steve B 94 Q, save that to the desktop, and then just export it to the same folder as I uh, put the program. Yeah, and that's, that's the procedure.